Stars Gaming. I am the Stars, and today I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of coin. This game is a lot better when you have gold in your pocket, especially when you want to buy stuff from the guild traders. So, we're going to start off with one of my favorite spots to go, and that is in Balfoyan. Let me zoom out and show you where that is. It's right here, just east of Stonefall. You come to the Dalmora Way Shrine. And when you get off the way shrine, you're facing this direction, and you start right here. And what I like to do is come up here and start my circuit here. Now, this place is a very heavily farmed spot. Everybody knows about it, but if you don't by chance, or your route isn't that tight, then feel free to keep watching this. Um, but right now, we're fortunate enough to see... Uh, have this spot to ourselves for the moment it won't last long it never does but you're seeing the route that I'm running to pick up the mats that are here now I'm not gonna lie to you this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme where you just do it a couple times and you're gonna make a lot of gold you really got to put forth the effort to earn the reward you got to work this um, I did this one weekend to stock up on gold for something that was coming up that I really needed to get I worked a Saturday and Sunday. I put in 10, 12 hours maybe. And I ended up making over a million gold because of what I got here. Uh, and the guild traders, which is great. But I tell you, I won't advise, don't advise doing it because I was, it was not a lot of fun. <laughs> Just something I felt I had to do for the game. So I did it. But it wasn't a lot of fun. So I'm going to finish this little route because I'm really checking to see if anybody is here and it doesn't at the moment. Now this whole is what I call the Way Shrine section, which is the one we just did, and what I call the Beach, which is where I'm going to go to now. You can make a lot of coins fat by getting all these mats. Now if you're a crafter like me, this is a crafter and farmer character. If you're like me, then this is a great place to stock up on mats that you want for everything. All right, so once you finish this section, we will come back and go over this again. You're going to go up this little path for that guy if he's there. Sometimes not, you can just go straight over. You come over here, drop down. Start this half, the beach half is what I call it. Right, there will be a plant here sometimes. You come across here. There will be some wood right here occasionally. Then you go to this, this node right here. You come back down here, and there will be um, ancestor silk every once in a while too and under this tree a rune stone pops up you get those <clears throat> excuse me if they're there then you come over to this spot right here now everybody has their own routes uh, this one works best for me it seems to be the tightest uh, most efficient way to do this and that's how to work but everybody has their own way of doing it so once you get that ore there will be a rune stone here that pop can pop up and you got ore right around the corner here Right over there by the water, by the, the seaweed, there's a log that can pop up too and spawn there. Right here we got some ancestor silk. Then we come over here and there can be a rune stone that pops up right here. And ancestor silk that can pop up right here. Then you come over here to this wood, get that. Now way out there, uh, pointers are. There can be a thieves trove that pops up there. I would advise against it because it takes you out of the route, but you can get it if you want to. It's up to you. Then you get this uh, node here. You come back over here, and it's not here now, but there's Ancestor Silk that spawns here. There is a Rune Stone that spawns here. And there's Mushrooms that spawn here. Now grab everything. Then you come up here to this. Grab everything if you're a crafter, or if you just want to um, sell in the Guild Traders. You need all this material, so get everything you can. Right here, there's always going to be... Um, a node for that then right around the corner it's this node and right here ancestor silk can spawn once you get that you come over here and there's some rubidite ore here sometimes it's platinum you got a log here ancestor silk here you'll have a plant oh it is I didn't see it. it's right here and a rune stone that can spawn right here a log that can spawn here. Now if you come here, there can be a thieves trove that 
uh, spawns right there. Ancestor silk that spawns here. Mushrooms that spawn here. Go up here, ancestor silk that can spawn here. And then you got a node right here. So you see why this is such in this for the route. You see why it's so good. You can have ants here. Then you'll have a road. Ancestor silk here. Across the way, right here, the, another one spawns for ancestor silk. And you got a door right here. And now it's not here, but you also get a rune stone here. So this side's got quite a few rune stones to pop up. Then you just pop up, or if you're fast and you have plenty of stem, you can ancestor silk. You got the log that comes up right there. Another log. You come around to this side. Another log that comes up. Then you got your nodes here. Right or oh, I meant to tell you, right? Next to it, a log does spawn here every once in a while too. Then you come across ways like this. Get this one. Hit this node. Go back across and hit this node. You come down here and a log can spawn here. Ancestor silk can spawn here. Plant can spawn here. Don't forget torch bugs, because you can get the torch bugs thorax if you're into alchemy. You just come over to this spot, grab the rubidite ore. Then over here, a chest can spawn. You can get it if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, Sometimes I, I tend to ignore them because I don't want to slow down on my route. Now I got the rubidite ore to here or here. You can get ancestor silk here. Another kind of plant, bug loss, nern, whatever, can spawn here. Up at the top of this hill, you sometimes get a log that spawns. Come up here, it's always ore. Platinum or rubidite. Come down here, an ancestor silk can spawn here. Oops, a log can spawn here. You get those if they're there. Come around here, platinum seam or rubidite ore. Then right here, where I'm pointing my uh, arrows, that can be mushrooms. Mushrooms spawn here. Ancestor silk can spawn here. Mushrooms spawn right up here. And here is ruby ash wood. Come right up the hill to the, the ore. Sometimes a chest pops up here. I tend to leave them alone, like I said, but you can get them if you want. It's entirely up to you. You'll get some mushrooms that spawn here. Get right over here, you get some ancestor silk. Over here, you'll get some ancestor silk too. And a log can spawn here. Not having much luck right now. It looks like the timer. Oh, here's a, a log can spawn here. Looks like the reset timer for those, which seems to be a little bit longer than the other ones, isn't really working right now. So you come up there, get that ore. You come right around the corner, get this ore. Some mushrooms that spawn here. Over by this thing here, this plant here, you can get some ancestor silk. Come down here, grab the rubidite ore, ruby ash wood, then over here, mushrooms. Come back, jump the fence. You start all. Like I said it's an easy way to make gold in this game or get mats for farming. And you want to look back, sometimes these respawn pretty quick. Sometimes they don't. Um, I'm not sure of the respawn rate, but while they're here, you just get them before you take that shortcut over to the beach side. We just did the way shrine side for name for obvious reasons. Now we're gonna go back to the beach side. How many guard does mother think? And again, spare? Just come here. He's gone now so he just runs straight across. Torch bug. And then these have by the time you get back here, these have respawned. Ah, no plant here right now. Again I'm not sure what the actual timer is for for a lot of these, some take longer than others. No ancestor silk, rune stone. But if you keep running it over and over, it seems to me, it, my experience here, that they will respawn pretty quickly, and then the, then they seem to slow down a little bit. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but uh, you still get enough even when they're not here. Not everything's here. So I'm going to finish this side up, head back over to the Way Shrine side, just so you get an idea of the route that I'm running. Again, a lot of people know this. This is nothing new. I'm no genius. Uh, log here. 
but I also know that it's a good route to run. So I will, if if you're unaware of it or you have a route, a route that's not all that tight, that could be tightened up a little bit so you're more efficient, this seems to me like a really good efficient way to, to do this. See, there's a chest. I'm not going to bother with it. And again, whoops. Just do this. No ancestor silk here. Sometimes there is. But again, you get the whole route to yourself, which I'll be honest with you, is very rare. But if you can get the whole route to yourself, you can see you can make a lot of coin from the mats and then just refine everything, sell it at the guild traders, whatever you need to do. But it's really good. And if you're a crafter, you get all kinds of crafting material too. Finish this one circuit up, and then I'm going to call it a video. But I just want you to see again how I'm running. A runestone can pop up there. One on each side of the road here for ancestor silk. No ancestor silk there, but again, that has not respawned yet. That, nor is that one. Then you come over here, and these. There are certain nodes, and you'll find it once you've done it a few times. You'll know which ones respawn quickly. And not yet there. So you just move on to the next one. See this plant's come back. And you get to grab another torch bug. This one's respawned. And like I said, you're gone long enough that the major ones will respawn by the time you come back. Go up this little hill. It's a tricky way to get up there. Follow the grass on the... It's the easiest way to get up here. No ancestor silk here. No log there. You got this... ore here. Mushroom has respawned here while we were gone. No ancestor silk here, no mushrooms there, no log there. But if you go up here, like I said, certain things just 